In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly mock up a product packaging design without necessarily using a mock up. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here, and welcome to the channel. Over here, we do Photoshop tutorials and tech reviews if that's something that you are interested in you might consider subscribing so i've covered a couple of tutorials where i show you how to mock your product or your designs up but in this particular tutorial we're going to do one without an actual mock-up of course there is a mock-up but not an actual psd mock-up now these are the resources that i'm going to use in the design if you want to practice a link will be in the description to download them so i got this flyer from shutterstock.com and let's assume that after you've done or after you've designed something like this you want to put it on a, a box like this sort of a mock-up but then you don't have the psd mock-up because sometimes it is difficult to come up with it what you can do actually here is you can download a shape or a costume shape like what i have over here so this is the shape that we are going to use or this is the box that we are going to use so once you have your design ready and then you have your box the first thing you need to do is you're going to make a selection of all your designs so for instance i have this in jpeg so i'm going to press ctrl a to make a selection all around it and i'm going to press ctrl c to copy that now i can come into my background of my box here and i can press ctrl v to paste it over here after that i can even delete it we just paste it so that when you go to the filter there can be this vanishing point for you and that is what we are going to use to create this magic now after you're done what you're going to do is you're going to add a new layer on top of this one and then you can go to filter and select vanishing point so we are going to create a vanishing point on top of this particular box now we want to select the exact part that we want all of this to show so i can start right from here and then i can start i can make another point from here i can make one also here and then i can finally end at this particular point so this means that any design that we are going to bring in here is going to actually affect the parts that we've selected so let's try that for instance so we are going to paste what we copied that is our design we're just going to paste it over here and then you realize that when you start dragging this is exactly how it is going to look like isn't this just simple and very amazing after you make your selection here you want to extend it to this very edge and over here so what you can do from this point is that you can hold control and then select this point and then you can drag it to the very bottom over here you can come to this portion as well select hold control and then you can drag this also to the very bottom we can left click on top here go ahead and press ctrl v to paste the design that we want to paste in here and then when you start dragging this is how it is going to look like isn't this just simple and so amazing now once you're done with everything that you want to do you can go ahead and click ok and then on top of this you're going to have your design so this is the actual design and you have the branding so very easy now this looks very plain so you can even go ahead and select the blending mode and you can set this to any blend mode for instance multiply so that you can see the edges over here or even if you don't want that you can play around with a blend mode to set it to any one of them that you want now there are times this box will be from a different perspective for instance this one that we have over here has a different perspective and you'd realize from here that when we went to the vanishing point everything is according to perspective so for instance if you create a new layer on top of this one and then we go to filter vanishing point and then we decide to create let's say a vanishing point on top of this one for instance let's say we create something like this and then we go ahead and paste our design so for instance something like this you realize that the perspective isn't really working with this one so in cases like this you would first of all have to rotate your image to fit into the perspective that you want so 
we are going to bring in our second image that i got from google so we can drag this one over here for instance so immediately we bring this in the first thing we need to do is we go to image and then image rotation and then we can rotate this either clockwise or anti-clockwise so something like this and then we can select all of it press ctrl c and then we can copy it we can then go back to our product mockup over here and then we can go to filter vanishing point and now we can create a vanishing point over here so you can create something like this and if you press ctrl v you can see that when you drag this over here this is how it is actually going to look like and this looks very cool at the same time you can also select your edit plane tool over here v for that and then you can left click to activate the grid lines and then you can hold control and drag this to the very bottom over here we can come to this portion as well hold control and then we can drag this also to the very bottom now if it feels like this has gone overboard you can adjust it from this very portion so for instance you can adjust it to this very part now once we have it like this we can go ahead and press ctrl v to paste our design and then we can drag it in here like that and it is going to automatically fill the entire section that we've actually created and then once you're done with everything you can go ahead and click ok and voila you have your main or your mock-up over here and then you have your product design already so you can also go to the blend mode to set this to multiply a bit or even you can use the linear burn over here but multiply works for me and we are all good so the idea is that you have to identify the perspective at which your product design is and how your product your packaging mock-up also is facing and you have to adjust your design to that particular format in order to make sure that everything turns out very nicely so this is the first one and this is how we got it mocked up and this is going to be our second design and this is how we got it mocked up I hope you learned something from this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated and thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye